In looking for a home for the Feinstein Initiative, there were many places that were possible. There were opportunities in New York, there were opportunities in Las Vegas, in Los Angeles, all over the map. However, my reason for wanting to come to Carmel has to do with, number one, the extraordinary support that the community has for the arts, the creation of the Palladium and the Center for the Performing Arts being a state-of-the-art concert hall that would be the finest in any place it was located, and the fact that people here truly have uh, a support and an understanding for the arts that is unusual, I think, in our time, and also the physical location of Carmel in this part of Indiana is close to so much of the United States, to the heartland of our country, that I wanted to bring the initiative to a place that shows that this is the music of everybody. This is not exclusive to New York or to Los Angeles. It's not rarefied, but this is the music of the people. The songs that I wish to preserve came from all over our country. They were written by Willard Robeson, who was from Alabama, and Richard Whiting from Detroit, and Gus Kahn from Chicago, and people from Brooklyn, and from Louisiana, and Florida. I mean, you name it. Uh, the people from Indiana, of course, who are best known are Hoagy Carmichael and Cole Porter. And so there is an extraordinarily rich legacy and heritage of American popular song here. So this is really a very appropriate place for the songbook.